Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a template and then we're going to use this letter template and use mail merge to send it out to different clients. So this is just one that I've made up, just typed it up nicely. And there's my name, etc. But really, I don't like the way it looks. So using Windows Office 2007, I'm going to edit this slightly. One thing I am going to do first of all, I'm going to change the layout of it because I don't like it so close to the top here. We're going to do this by going into page layout at the top and we can change the margins. Now you can go to normal, have it narrow, I don't like narrow. Moderate, not so bad, but I do like I do like the spacing on the sides here for modern. But I'm going to increase the sides here. It'll make sense later on. So I'm going to go down to custom margins, and I'm going to change this to I think 4.5. So there you go. We've got a lot of space at the top here, and I'm quite happy with that. Unfortunately, I don't like the text. I really do not like it. So another thing I'm going to have to do, I am going to have to change the paragraph. So I'm going to highlight all my text here, right click, and you can go to paragraph. You can also, I think, go to home, so paragraph here. It's probably in page layout somewhere. Referencing, view, and search. Well, no, it's some, there's obviously there's so many different icons you can click on, but for now it's easier just to right click and go to paragraph. And in here, this controls the layout of the entire document. At the moment, I'm going to set the left to zero. Oh, centimeters. So, there we go. And also you can change the spacing. You can do exactly so many pixels or you can do multiply. So it's just it by three. So if I did click OK, you can see we've got insane amount of spacing. I really do not want that at all. So I'm gonna you can even set to 0.5 of a line, so it's uh, it's not too bad, but really I like it the way it was before. So you see you can play around with this, you can even be a bit silly. And just uh, was it exactly one pixel? So the tiny <laughs> squash together. That is really silly. So I'm gonna change this back to single. Let's have a look. Why is enclosure? I'm not sure why enclosure's gone over there. I'm just going to copy, delete, and okay. Huh. Okay, I'm just going to type it out. You may still notice some some things going wrong. There you go, easily fixed. So again, I'm going to press Control and A to highlight the entire text and have another look at the paragraph again. And you can also have a look at line breakers, but really, if you want to edit it and change the spacing, this is the place to go. You can also change the alignment for it to be centered, right, justified, etc. You can even select a single word or a single line and just simply edit that single line. But I don't really want to do that. Another thing I want to do as well, I personally, I think that New Roman Times text, okay when you're typing something old, but today you do not use this font. You must also consider the font. This is just lazy. So I want to change this. You can always go to home and change it manually here. Or I can right click and click on font. Well, I get a little bit more options and I can kind of see here a preview of what I look like. That techno does look rather nice, but really you should go with the old classic. So I'm just going to... Oh, some of these do look nice. I might change the Galaxy Print one. Ah, oh, Dobby. Nope. 
actually go tie pit. Go now. Mm, no, we'll go go good old aerial, and I'm gonna set the size to about eleven. Press OK, and there you go. Aerial's always a good one to go with. It's a nice safe option because it's nice, clean, and the lines are nice and straight. It's easy to read. So. For fail safe, I would always say make sure your aerial documents are well, make sure your documents are in aerial font. Also gonna change Galaxy Prints, because I like some of the fonts. You can use a drop down here and you get a little preview of what it should look like. Let's see, can I no, that's a bit annoying that I can't see it, but um I'm just gonna These are fonts I've downloaded. You, you can download them off uh, DAFonts.com. And there you see, let's have a look. Oh, don't like that one at all. Uh, oop, really do not like another thing you could do as well I can right click on this and we can see here I can use the drop down I get a bit more of a look well that's a bit better and also here I can change the font or I can click these two options to make it smaller or bigger I'm going to make it 18, so it, it sits nicely there, and I kind of like that. That's quite nice. That's a bit unexpected. Another thing I want to do as well in this spec section here, I want to put a nice image in the header. Usually, the headers you can have nice headings and say what page it is, etc. But for this one, I just want to put in an image. So, we're going to go, what we're going to do is go into insert because we want to insert the header, and hopefully, when the program starts to work. I'm going to click on header. We've got a little drop down area. And here you can see we've got a nice selection of pre made headers that you can use. And some of them do look quite nice, quite interesting. If you want to put year and so look at this one, like pick a date, document type. These are quite nice. So I'm in header. I've just clicked Control Z to undo them. I'm just going to close that again. And go to assert header. I want to edit my header. So I'm going to put an image in here that I've made previously, which is going to act as my sort of like letter header. So once you're in design, I can then click to insert picture, and you insert the picture like you would normally do. And here's my image document, which I didn't rename correctly, lazy me, insert. And here we've got Galaxy Prints, quite a nice document here. Another thing I'm going to do as well, I'm going to change, have a look at these, so, ooh, I like that. You can always edit the picture, you can look from all these different ones. Well, that looks pretty snazzy. And if you highlight, if you just hover your mouse over it, it will automatically create it. And I, I like the reflection there. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. There's quite a few nice ones here. It's nice, quirky ones. I like it, it's a bit crooked off the side. So you can create some really, really nice headers with this. So I'm just going to scroll up and click on this. Now you can see it's right at the top. If I want to decrease or increase the size, usually a bit, bit more, I can go into design, and here it's set to zero. Usually you would have it set as something else. So it could be set. And so the more I increase it, the more I'm adding to the space here. But really, I want to set this to zero. So it's right at the top there. And I'm quite happy with that. Actually, I'm just going to click here so I can decrease the size of this. Can I decrease the size? No, nope, it's not letting me. That's a bit annoying. Can I? I'm just going to look on paragraph. Nope, can't decrease it. No, oh, actually, what's the spacing after 24? Okay, let's go. Okay, there, there we go. By doing that, so again, that's paragraph and changing the spacing here. I was able to put it to zero, so it's nice and tight there. And I'm quite happy with that. You can also go back to format. Oops, not format. If I click away, you can also switch, go to footer, and I can add something in here, like yeah, hello. Or you know whatever I like really so or I can pick footer I could pick on actually that's a nice one just a one page here so I'm gonna put that in there so it's a nice 
nice photo in there. So that makes it just a bit nice. It's a page one. This so makes it all look nice and legit. And when you print this, it won't look as cloudy the image, but on some level it does look nice as cloudy. So I'm quite happy with my template. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to save this template so I can use it later on when I want to add clients to this. To do this, I'm going to go in, go to the Windows icon at the top, save as, and if I hover over this long enough, we've got Word template. So if I click on this, I can go into, let's see, my Word template folder. Here's a bunch I made earlier, and we've already got the name Galaxy Prints, and I can save. There you go, saved. So now, if I want to go and create a new document, I can go over to new from existing. It's asking me which template would you like? I want the Galaxy Print one, or Word document, or you can, well, yes, or Word document, create new. And now I've got a brand new document. So you may wonder, well, I can just, what's the point of making it? You've already got it there. Well, the point of this is, if you want to make a nice layout, maybe a graph or something for others to use, you can just create the templates and then just pass over the templates and input the data you normally would. So if you want to make something professional, you could take time to make the layout and then later on just put in the details of the content you need. Very good for assignments. So now I've got my letter, but who am I sending it to? What we're going to do next, we're going to put mail merge in here. So we've got dear right here. Actually, I'm going to delete that because I can get Word to create that automatically for me. So it saves me less work. To do this, I'm going to, I've got to find it first. So insert layout, ah, mailings. There we go. It's the mailings tab here. So now I want to send this to different recipients. So I can select recipient. Now I've got a list already created in Excel here. So here I've got emails, including a tab for first name and also last name. Now you really do have to create, you can't just have it as one name. You do need to do two separate columns for first and last name of your client. So and I've got their emails right here. So put that away. So I'm going to select recipient, select from, let's see, use an existing list. You could, if you've got Outlook, you could do it from there, but personally, I don't use Outlook. I'm going to use from list, so a list I created earlier. This is thinking about it, and it's asking, where's my list? Well, I'm going to go and find it. Put my USB stick. There we go, emails, open, and it's asking which sheets was it, well I only used one, so I'm going to go OK. So now I've got my recipients, so it's at the ready. I can also edit the recipient list, so if I don't want to send one to John Smith, or me, I don't want to send it to me, I can click on these and edit them. You can also sort, filter, etc. Or validate addresses, all kinds of things. But I'm not going to go into that today. Now, I want to create a nice greeting line. So I'm going to click on greeting line here. And here you can say dear or to or none, if you want to be quite rude about it. I'm going to leave dear so and so. And I can scroll for the preview here and see what this will look like. So there's Bart Simpson. Dear Simon Cowell, Tom Jones, and those are the, I think those are the ones that, yeah, skipping them. So we've got two, then we skip to four, then we skip to five. So I can go, okay. So there's the greeting line. If I want to, I could preview this. So I can look on preview results, and it shows me what the client or the person, or when this is printed, is going to look like. And I can scroll through these. And let's say I do want John Smith to receive this. I can always go back to Edit, Recipient List, add him in there, and OK, yeah, he's there. So everyone but me is in there. And that's all you really have to do. I mean, you could 
play around with these, you can insert the address block. And preview the results. But we don't really need to do that. So I'm quite happy with this. And now let's say I want to print this off or send these letters off. You could finish and merge and you can edit, well you can click on edit individual documents, you can print them or unfortunately I don't have this link to my emails but you can send them off. So if you had print documents you would be able to go click print documents all or current record or you can even set who you're sending them to. And click on OK. OK, yes, I do not have a printer in here, but then you would be able to go through all the different things. So I'm going to click Cancel there. And there you have it. So that is how you can create a nice template and also mail merge and send these letters off. And it will also tap into the email addresses if you have this success successfully linked to your email address in Word, it will acknowledge these addresses and send them off. So that's always a very handy thing to do, especially if you're emailing or you're sending loads of letters off to somebody or if you're sending, I don't know, cover letter off to different companies. Hopefully you found this quite useful and look forward to seeing what you produce.